This pill can deliver all the drugs you need. Researchers at MIT and Brigham and Women's Hospital have developed a single capsule that can gradually release medication over an extended period of time. Medication is loaded into the arms of the star-shaped pill. The arms can be folded inward to form a single capsule. The acid in the stomach dissolves the outer layer of the capsule, thus allowing the six arms to unfold. The star shape then allows the capsule to stay inside the stomach instead of being immediately pushed through the digestive tract. Animal tests confirm that the capsule is able to gradually release medication over two weeks' time. After the last dose is released, the arms of the capsule break apart, allowing it to travel through the body's digestive system. Experts say this technology could be used to help treat malaria and many other diseases. Here are other stories on medical technologies. 3D printed organ on a chip could end animal testing. Harvard scientists have developed a 3D printed heart on a computer chip, which can be used to study heart conditions without testing medical treatments on animals. The heart on a chip is composed of a small piece of flexible polymer that contains living human heart cells which can mimic the physiological response of a human heart. The chip also contains integrated sensors. The sensors collect data on the beating of the heart on a chip, which can be used to study how the tissue responds to drugs or toxins. Other organs, including bones, lungs, the liver, and gut, can also be made into organs on a chip. Backers of the technology say it is a more accurate alternative to testing drugs on animals, and hope it can decrease the number of animals used for testing. Man's paralyzed limb reanimated with the help of a brain chip. A team from Ohio has made a medical breakthrough, successfully developing technology that allows brain signals to bypass a spinal injury and transmit straight to the muscles. When Ian Burkhart broke his neck four years ago, it damaged his spinal cord and left him paralyzed from the chest down. He retained some movement in his shoulders and biceps, but lost sensation in his hands and legs. To help him, doctors inserted a chip the size of an eraser head into his motor cortex, the area of the brain that controls hand movements. The chip records brain signals for specific hand movements and sends these to a computer via a port on the back of Burkhardt's head. Once the signals are decoded, they're transmitted to an arm sleeve studded with electrodes. The electrodes stimulate the muscles and allow them to move. The system, called NeuroLife, has allowed Burkhardt to make six different hand and wrist motions. It marks the first time a paralyzed man has been able to regain movement using recorded brain signals. FDA approves device that stops gunshot bleeding in 15 seconds. The United States Food and Drug Administration has approved the civilian use of this device that can be used to stop major hemorrhaging. The XSTAT rapid hemostasis system was approved for use by the military last year, but now the innovative wound dressing device can be used by the general public. XSTAT-30 is a syringe filled with tiny expandable sponges that work to fill a wound and stop hemorrhaging in 15 seconds. There are 92 sponges in each syringe, but the number of sponges needed to stop bleeding varies depending on the wound. Three syringes can be used per patient. Using an XSTAT gives the patient four hours to seek professional medical attention. Sponges have radio plaque markers, so an X-ray can pick up any sponges to help in the process of extraction. According to the U.S. Army Institute of Surgical Research, 30 to 40 percent of civilian deaths by traumatic injury are the result of hemorrhaging. XSTAT is for areas of the body where it is difficult to use a tourniquet. <laughs>